Alright, hey everyone. So I have finally made it close to the end of all my Disney Institute training and I have just gotten a plethora of wonderful notes that I've taken from my time here. Um, again, this was like a course of over like 15 on-demand courses. The material was just amazing. Um, if you can take it, I would highly encourage it. There's just so much to learn here. One of the last courses I took was the Service Essential series, and it talked about um, owning the service moment. And I really liked it because it kind of like went with like one of our cultures at my own job, which is um, owning it. And uh, they gave this really neat example about this couple who um, their tradition was to get ice cream before the park closed and they would head out. Well, on their way out, they realized that it was closing down and it was too late and they were so sad because that was like their tradition and they weren't able to do it. And the employee that was closing down the shop kind of like overheard them and decided, oh, okay, well, let me go see if there is some ice cream still left. And so he went, he saw some, and then he snuck out of the building and went up to the couple and gave them their ice cream. And they were so thrilled. And that is just such a great example of like owning it in customer service and um, just being there for them. Um, I liked how they talked about it's okay to be off task as long as you're on purpose. And um, sometimes they give examples of like, oh, you know, I have a meeting coming up and I need that time to go get there but now a customer has come by and said hey I need help trying to find the Peter Pan ride for example and so you know he can face the choice of hey do I go do the meeting I'm supposed to attend or do I help the customer and so that's the area where he decided that he wanted to be on purpose which was creating happiness that's the common purpose for Disney is going and creating happiness for people um, he decided to stay on purpose and not necessarily stay on task and the task in this case would have been going to the meeting so he stayed on purpose to help the the customer and you know that's always something that he can stay on purpose and then if he still has time to attend the meeting you know but don't rush that experience with that customer because that's what creates meaningful moments that last forever and gives them, you know, the desire to come back. And, you know, I also did one about how people matter and they make the difference. Um, and they gave like different examples on like how that people that are treated really well and have such an engaging experience with your company, they're like three times more likely to return or recommend your place. They're willing to purchase more goods from you. Um, they're less likely to shop around other competitors and um, they're less price sensitive, which, um, you know, it makes sense because that's how you go like brand loyalty and things like that. Um, but again, there is like so many ways to create customer service experience. They had one about the first pickle, which was really interesting. And what it discussed about was how they wanted to give it a try to see if they would do something fun and neat, but they didn't know how recept how it was going to be receptive. But they gave it a shot anyways. And whoever bought like the first pickle at the park would get like a unique button, and on it, instead of saying first visit, they kind of scratched out the visit, and you get a first pickle button, and they draw a little pickle on it and everything. And I never knew this, and I've been going to Disney for so long and so many times. Um, but it's hilarious. I. Uh, <laughs> I don't eat pickles in it. You know, it even makes me want to go get a pickle. <laughs> so that's like a neat way, though, to kind of like get your customers involved and engaged and, you know, find like different things to do. Um, and that's just as far as the, the quality of service. And um, they have so many great examples. Um, there was one where they talked about like innovation and they showed how they completely um, created these like dim sums and how you know like you practice um, the more you practice at something the better you get at it and um, it was amazing I and I loved all the different the different Disney references and how they showed how they um, they talked about vision and how they visioned the castle for um, the new Hong Kong um, I think it's called the castle of magical dreams or something like that it's really neat um, 
I didn't know before, but seeing it now, the Disney Castle in Hong Kong is like made in mountains. It's gorgeous. And then the castle, they envisioned it in such a way that、um, each tower of the castle represents a di- different Disney princess. And they even h a s a rose mirror with all the different icons of the Disney, di- di- different Disney princesses and queens on there too, because Anna and Elsa are there as well. And they even went so much detail as in the collars, columns. Um, have like the animal and friends of the princesses integrated onto them. So it, it's just wonderful、um, the amount of effort and work that they put into this. I did want to kind of guide you real quick through、um, kind of like some of the things on like how their on demand look and how it works. So I'm going to share my screen here for a moment. So give me one moment as I do that. Okay, I am currently sharing my screen. And here I am on the Disney Institute website. I'm on the Brilliance Collection section.、Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go to My Disney Institute and go to the My Disney Institute dashboard. And all there, you'll see the different courses that I've taken. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Brilliance Collection, which is a series of on demand courses. And then I'm going to go over to the on demand area here. Once I'm there, I'm going to show you how one of the classes are. So I did the Brilliance Collection. I'll go there and click on that. And pardon if my computer is running a little slow. So here we are in the Brilliance Collection, and these are some foundational concepts to show you how to navigate the course.、Um, A really beautiful video of the opening of the park really gets you into that magical feeling.、Um, and some foundations for them as well.、Um, so they have the featured course, and I'm going to show you that in a second, but I kind of want to show you first how the other ones are. And this is a part of the Brilliance Collection. Well, all of them are a part of the Brilliance Collection. But as you go down, I'm going to show you. The owning the service moment. I thought this one was kind of neat to just kind of show you what it's like, how some of the workshops are. These are their smaller ones, these are much larger.、Um, I'm going to say some of my favorite ones that I did was, of course, the featured course. The Disney Approach series is amazing. If you can just do those three, I would highly encourage it. I really like the coaching one as well.、Um, and a lot of these I was quite impressed. So, you know, just because they're shorter、um, doesn't make them any less important.、Um, so, let's go ahead and click the owning the service moment one. Once I'm here, it's going to kind of show you how,、um, as you can see, there's check marks because I've completed all of these. But、um, when you go inside, you'll click, you know, when you go in, it'll show you your learning objectives.、Um, Common frustrations that you may go through with the situation of owning the service moment.、Um, they have some sponsorships, which give you some special offers as well. You'll also go here, and this is where you'll go to print out your guide. You'll hit this play button, and a PDF will come in, and it'll give you like a workbook that you can fill in and have some introspective moments.、Um, when you go to the next model and you're done with that,、um, again, they'll say what it is. So you see you're reading the text. Or you l l click a video, and this is that video of sorry about that. This is that video of that ice cream one that I was mentioning earlier. And this is where you'll have your introspective moment to fill in your workbook. Again, you can either print these out, or the PDF lets you allow, allows you to edit it from there. So if you want to stay green and not have to print or anything like that, then you can do it that way too, save it digitally and electronically.、Um, That's how it mostly goes.、Um, you either have readings, introspectives, videos, and as you go down, you may even have some activities. And in these activities,、um, you'll get quiz moments. Like, for example, I'll hit try again. And you'll go through a series of questions and answer them as well.、Um, it's a really great experience. I don't know if you can necessarily fail these.、Um, I never saw that there was like a great check.、Um, to my knowledge, maybe there is. Most of the times I scored really high on them. So、um, they're fairly simple. You know, honestly, as long as you're paying attention, you're going to get it. <laughs>、um, oops, I accidentally went back too far. So let's go back into it. 
So once you're basically done doing everything, you'll get to your action steps. And then I think it marked me as uncomplete now. Let's work this. I'll, I'll work it out later. <laughs> so once you get to your done, you'll get either a certificate or a virtual pen. So if you're doing this, um, the, the, the essential series, they give you more like pens. And when you complete them, let's see if they'll show. Oh, so I'm going to have to go back to the activity since I already did it. Normally it pops up here in the front of the screen, but since I've already done it, it won't pop up. So I'll click the activity, and off the activity it'll show when I did it, it'll show the quiz completed, and things like that, purpose, and you know, the service guides, and all that stuff. Um, so I can go ahead and hit download to get my virtual pin or certificate. And this is kind of like a glimpse of how it'll look. And that is my virtual pen that I completed. And it will have the date that you completed it on as well. You can print these out, or if you just want, again, a digital copy, you'll have it for your reference to keep. Um, the neat thing I noticed is that also some of them, I don't think this one does particularly, but some of them give you even wallpapers that you can save and use as a desktop. So um, let me go ahead and show you the featured course. I'm just going to show you a little bit of this one. Um, it's pretty neat. When you click it, you get a map and it's like an interactive map. And on the map, you can choose like different areas of the park. What you want to do is you'll hit the 50s and um, they do have a participant guide that you can download. So again, feel free to download or print and um, work on that as you, as you like. But what you'll do is you'll click on one of the 50s and it will come up here in a second. And like I said earlier, um, oh, there we go. It's up. So all the uh, check marks again show that I'm, um, I had, have completed these. Um, when you go through them, you have again a, a moment of like an introspection. Um, you'll get some text to read through, and I just love the 50th anniversary iridescent colors. It's, it's amazing. Props to Disney for that. Um, you'll have other moments to read texts and things like that. And then you'll get some interactive moments. So not all the interaction moments or activities are like quiz related. Some of them are pretty neat. This one's cool because you'll hit play. And let me show you an example. Um, since I already did it, I'll just hit resume and see if that works. Okay, and as you go through that, it'll show you the different castles throughout the different years. Um, funny to say is that I've seen actually all these castles except for this 2005 one. I have never seen the 2005 castle. Um, that is one that I missed out on, but I've actually seen it. No, um, not 1971. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a great experience. It even shows you how the castle is right now and everything. Whenever you're done with something, it'll show you a check mark on the top right corner. And that's when you can kind of hit next to go to the next section. And here's an example of one of the wallpapers that you can say. Um, it'll say a virtual background exclusive, exclusively for you by the Disney Institute, and you can click that and print that out. Um, again, this uh, Disney Institute experience has been wonderful. I love it. It's a lot of things that you can apply into your own job and reflect and think, you know, like what are ways that we can be innovative? What are ways that we can, um, let me stop sharing here for a second. What are ways that we can incorporate the things that Disney does in our own unique ways at home? Um, if you have the chance to do this, definitely jump on board. And I guarantee you that you are just going to have a magical time. And yes, I wore <laughs> my 50th anniversary. I got this shirt for my birthday earlier this year when I got to go to the Magic Kingdom. Um, again, so much amazing moments. and. Um, you know, I can even share like a magical moment for me just so you can kind of, you know, like have an idea how awesome Disney is. Um, I was on the dinosaur ride with my dad and he had, um, he had a hat on that my mom had gotten him. And um, while we were on the ride, his hat flew off and he thought he lost it for good. Um, 
you know, and he didn't want to bother the staff because, you know, most of the time that, you know, they won't find it or they won't do it or anything like that. So, you know, we kind of were starting to walk away feeling kind of bad. And I think the note employee noticed that and uh, he went to look through the cart and he somehow actually, again, I don't know how he did it, but he found my dad's hat. And um, as we were starting to walk out of the ride, he like set it towards us and gave it to us and we were just so happy. Um, but yeah, no, there is just plenty of stories that can be had. And um, it's wonderful to find ways to just implement these kind of moments into our own work life, you know, what's our common purpose? What are our values, our visions, our goals? You know, how do we stay aligned and stay in focus and make sure that everyone's on board and they're fully sold and fully committed to the goals and, and the visions and everything like that? Um, how do we create our own magical moments? Um, how do we go above and beyond? How do we be intentional? And um, another one, um, there was another one that was coming to my head, but it, it's slipping past me, but, you know, I'm just going to go back through all of this. I'm going to review it and continue to find ways to adapt this knowledge into my own work field, but also even into my own personal life. Um, I really liked a lot about the intentional listening um, and how everyone can be a leader, you know, and everyone should be seen as a leader in their own areas. And um, it's really great. It really feels like you matter, your voice matters, um, and that they actually genuinely care. Well, I hope you enjoyed the journey with me um, and that you have a magical day and take a moment to consider even taking this, the Disney Institute Brilliant course or any of the series that they do. If there's one that interests you and you don't want the entire collection, go ahead and do that. Um, and they do offer discounts um, for like government and uh, students and teachers. So, you know, do keep that in mind as you're going through it as well. All right, and have a magical day.